Hey, what's going on guys? We're about to start the, what I believe is the final mission of uh, Black Ops Cold War. It's been a hell of a good game so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. Uh, so without further ado, let's start the last mission. What I think is the last mission. End of the line. Let's get it. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love, we're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Spark, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. <laughs> Ooh, Tundra. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. It's about fucking time. Go, go, go! I'm moving. Do the honors, Bill. Hombre caído! Top of my ass! Like fucking clockwork! I'll pull the man out! Defense to the main gate! Sniper! Up ahead! They're breaking cover! On the roof. Lay down the I didn't hit. I did. Moving up. I'm moving. Nice. Standy Randy M16. Oh, it's got a sight on it. What the hell was. Why is it up there? <laughs> well, the enemy they just ran past them. Fraggies. Hit 
a closed circuit camera. It's a cool house. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. I didn't live in here. Ever, like, furnished, of course, not like, boarded up. Where am I going? Spread out. Find that nuke. I'm guessing I'm going this way. Sharp. Why have they always got scopes on their AKs? Like, come on, man. There we go. Contact. I inside red dot. Don't. Oh, that's a sick. <laughs> oh God damn it! I didn't hear the mention that there might be civilians here. Anyone here to mention that? No, me either. It's quiet all of a sudden. Stay sharp. Is everyone all right? Bell, sweep the mines. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let's run through this bitch. I'm trying to check some check for mines. Have some decency. I've got a two man ambush. What the hell is that? I'm assuming there's some kind of challenge for destroying all the mines or something, but I need cover. I'm not going to get into that now. What are you shooting at? RPG on the balcony. Oh, yep. That's an RPG. An old person. Oh, he's just RPG himself. Makes my job a bit easier. <laughs> That guy just fucking destroyed me. Holy. You good, bro? Okay. Oh, oh bl what? Okay. Press F, I don't know why he was like grabbing on that door.
Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Pa. Thanks, Keep Martin. looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Look Let's out. move. Take you there, Park. Rude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Hell yeah. Love C4. Boom, baby. Nice. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh, so I'll throw it back and it just bounces back straight at me. Lovely. Not this time. Hella spree right now. Anyone else gonna come out of that little, little tiny room there? Ah, fake game doesn't cast a shadow when I walk in front of the projector. Fake game. Finding cover. Molotov, okay. Those are good Please, people, scientists. Get us. No. Stay away. Please, no. In motion. Estoy revisando. Frag out. Granada. They're breaking cover. Oh wow, perfect grenade. Come on, bro, you're gonna need to try harder than that. That's happened a few times where you like walk into a room and a random TV just turns on. This one's not even connected to power. Twenty-seven B. Adler, we're heading inside. <laughs> Bell canvas the room. Hastings, start talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. He shot us. He escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. Oh my god. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go. No? Contact. Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move! Move! That's where we get a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. Adler, I got eyes on an HVT. South rooftop. Could be Perseus. He's climbing into a chopper. Take him 
window. Out the window. Please tell me I can snipe this guy out of the helicopter or something. Give me cover. Give me cover. Give me cover. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> There's no cover there. What am I supposed to do? Give me the cover. This is ground team. Confirm you have visual. Roger that ground team. We have visual. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your backs to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. Stand down. Heads up, Mark. You got snipers on the roof. Copy that. Pick out those snipers. They're everywhere. Control versus are. We're low on ammo. You know what? I think I'm ready for that drink now. <laughs> Don't tease me, Park. But we'll have none of that horse piss you call Fuego beer. De It'll be a proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come. Jesus, my aim is terrible. <laughs> Probably be like do better if I just try and one tap these people. Bro. Getting low on ammo. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, Dilza. I tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm buying. Now that's something worth fighting. Ground team, this is Skyhook. Your zone is hot as hell. Can we lend an assist? That will be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help Very Oh, in the face. Oh, buddy. Get ready. Cover. It's a freaking grenade launcher. I just wanted. To... Hey, use it, Doofus. Use we it. We don't have much time. <laughs> Take cover. Shit. Oh, that looks fun. Contact in T what? minus ten. Nine. The eight, seven. Six, Move your ass, Bell. Five. We're nearly out of time. Three. Two. Uh. One. Sorry, Lazar. Later. a goddamn fiasco you go in with the intel you have not the intel you want we paid the fucking piper down there you think this is bell's fault i don't know whose fault it is i just know that perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke he's got dozens millions of people are gonna die and the united states will take the blame you need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal are we gonna pull that out of our ass bell knows where it is bell this goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims! Get the gurney. Bell. I 
feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. We're going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Let's go! Gotta reload! The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Down! Get down! They see! He's moving close. Use our knives. Stay low. Use the grass for cover. 
Thế đồng chí nghĩ hắn hy vọng học hỏi được Bằng cách Thanks for the assist. Good luck on your mission. You heard Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. Bell, I need you to turn around and go into the cave. Bell's starting to drift. The zip line nearby was the best way back to the cave. You wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. Bell, turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Equipped your shotgun and had a bow ready. That's when you discovered VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. 
According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. Alright guys, so I just realized I've been on mute for like 10 minutes, maybe even more. So, uh, sorry about that, but immersive gameplay I guess. I don't really want to risk that. Reach that far, right? I wonder if I can call out with this. This about to go real bad. I wonder what the drop's like on this. Damn it, I can't. There is no cover. <laughs> this is all I have. I have a pistol. Cool. Can't see him at all. Who's this guy shooting for? Ugh. I can't see anyone, this is horrible. Oh, see that one. Okay. Okay. Alright, so the drop's not that far. Leave me for a second. Where though? Out there. There's one. Is that all of them? Cool. I just realized that guy that I killed right at the start had a gun. <laughs> Can I get one of these? Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. A TV again. What is up with that? M16A1. Mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. Ooh. 
At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. This has some very uh, final mission in Black Ops 3 vibes. Fight, you readied your M16. They stirred up a hornet's nest. You need chopper support ASAP. Roger that. Chopper inbound. EPA 2 He's telling me none of them hit that. Okay. Took right of, got rid of my boat. Took right of my boat. Oh, I've got, <laughs> I've got a shot. I've got a shot. Places. Nice. Very loud. <laughs> yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another focal seizure. I think I understand. This is trippy. I like it. <laughs> Oh, 
No. Don't stop, Bell. Fuck, fuck! Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. <laughs> I think I hit Mark as a grenade launcher. <laughs> Ouch, dude. Oh, yeah, we, we ruined it. We ruined it. You weren't killed. What do you mean, Bell? You weren't killed, bro. You give me a freaking grenade launcher. What do you expect me to do? Ready to grenade launcher and charge the head. Okay. Leave me alone. Oh, I have an M16. Nice. Dude. Have a nice full grenade launcher full of ammo. I feel like this bit's gonna be even shorter than the last bit. Actually, the last bit wasn't much shorter than the other bit. There was like a whole other war. Hmm. Not like a war, but like a little battle. Battle! Yeah, split near a ruin. So you took the well traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. The frickin' trees, yeah, okay. I see you, buddy. Well, very, uh, World of War vibes, this, this bit. World of War would be awesome. I wonder if I like kill these people now when I get there and it starts playing. Reports at the bunker oh. across the bridge. I'm gonna stop. You went left at the fort, not right. Oh, that's Adler. I had a feeling that some of those people back there, like in the first bit when I had the grenade launcher, were Adler. I recognized the jacket. I couldn't really see because it was so far away. I should have checked one of the bodies. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Oh, hey, yeah. Of how you can't burn in this bit.
Inside the house hit by napalm, you'd find a hidden bunker door. Go check it out, Bell! Very creative, though, like, how they come up with this. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck, open it. Give Bell another injection. That could be do it now. Bell's heart rate is already. Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Good. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming. This has an annoying noise. I'm leaving it straight away. Good game. GG. Wow. I mean, it's one of these doors. Turn around. Speak to our town. Bell, stop speaking in circles. Stop speaking in circles. <laughs> Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume that which survive another round now you're asking me do it we're not leaving empty-handed script 17 ready bell we've got a job to do we've been over this already skip ahead to the next one the bunker door was right there at the ruins bell you went in Bell, go into the bunker now.
States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. No shit. I'm guessing I'm Adler. Uh, not Adler. <laughs> That'd be jokes. Um, the guy I've been chasing the entire game, whose name I can't remember right now. Perseus. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to help each other. Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. Sneaky motherfuckers are doing it again. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Duba. This you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. <laughs> We were there. We found you after everything went down. The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to 
replace the old. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. He even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. Are your hands clean, Bell? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job. Come on, got a job. Come on, you've got a job to do. Got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Hmm. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. Solovetsky. This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Oh, wow. Um... Solovetsky. Yeah, I'm gonna be a good guy. <laughs> Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up, we're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Alright, I'm assuming... Nope. <laughs> Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Projecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Two clicks out. All units, EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. 
Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. Let's take Perseus off the air. Must be shooting. <laughs> Even on the AA gun. Why do they always give me a freaking shotgun? See if you're smoke. I'm moving. Is the boy gone? We're being fired. Ah! Right, stand back. C4 is cooking. Back to work, Bell. Head for the church. I see someone up there. I think he died. This gun's pretty nice. Of the shot. We got one AA cleared. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Contact. Me burn? It's ridiculous. 
Alright. We go again. Imagine if he actually helped me like that'd be crazy. What world? The power's coming back on. Adley, you see this? Woods, we're yeah. running out of time. I gotta tell Hudson to launch. That's a big gamble if that gun ain't cleared. Yeah. Hudson, start your bombing run. Yeah. Copy that. Get your team out of there, Adler. Those bombers won't have a chance if we don't clear that last AA gun. You? you better hurry the fuck up. Confirmed. One minute to bomb strike. Oh my god. The radio towers are still floating up. We got a chance. Oh my god. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East, and with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? After his death, elements inside the GDR saw an opportunity to reduce the Russian mob's influence in East Berlin. Two days ago, in a large-scale midnight raid, Stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to Volkov. Men, women, and children were all gone before the sun rose. 
This will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity in Europe. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Adrian Azoulay's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key assets here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover from this one. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed all of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. Maybe someday Perseus can join him. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of Langley. And Bell. Arctic air. Clears the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. All right, guys, that was quite an ending. I, I'm a little annoyed that I didn't get to go back and get the code to that room, but I'm probably going to do that anyway. Um, yeah, really fun game. Can't wait to play the rest of it, like multiplayer and uh, zombies. Haven't even touched those yet. Just wanted to get this done. Um, really good job by uh, these people that are on screen now. So. I'm going to leave the credits playing for the end of the video. Just uh, out of respect for these people making this game. Really well made. Graphics are incredible. It's really well optimized. Really enjoyed myself playing it. Uh, it would be nice if it was a little bit longer. But, you know, I'm still going to get plenty more out of the game afterwards. So I'm not, I'm not complaining. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.